Hello dear ladies and gentlemen. I have a Lady Etiquette tip of the day for you. Afternoon tea is a wonderful tradition which started in the mid-1840s. Not to be mistaken with high tea, Anna Russell, the Duchess of Bedford, would become ravenous in the afternoon and did not care for the long time gap between luncheon and dinner time. To refresh herself, the Duchess decided to snack in the afternoon with some bread and jam and would invite her dear friends to have tea with her around 3 or 4 p.m. The Duchess's friends were so impressed with this ritual that word soon spread and inspired others to follow suit. High tea, contrary to popular belief, is not a ritual which was shared by the aristocracy. High tea was a complete meal of a meat pie or something more substantial which was served later in the day when the working class came home from a hard day's work. The name high tea is derived from the high dinner table the meal was served on. Hence low tea is served on a low table top, which is when we would hold our teacup and saucer together. Low tea is better known today as simply afternoon tea. The term high tea, which we sometimes see referred to in some fine dining establishments, is indeed an incorrect term for afternoon tea. An interesting conundrum, some British people, even today, still call dinner time tea time because of this history. And I think that is wonderful, don't you, ladies and gentlemen? Now, if you are immediately sat with a table in front of you, then the saucer stays on the table when you lift your teacup to take a sip of your tea. However, if the table is away from you, or you are sat in a freestanding chair, or you have a low table in front of you, then in this case, you would hold your teacup and saucer together. The saucer plays an important part of our afternoon tea tradition. The whole idea of the saucer is so that it protects you from any drips or spillage and is also a convenient way to protect surfaces from possible damage due from the heat of the teacup. It will also catch any overflow splashes and drips from the cup, protecting both the table linen and yourself. So to reiterate, the only time the saucer actually stays on the table is if the table is immediately in front of you. For more detailed information, on etiquette, please visit me at ladyetiquette.com or stay tuned on here.